Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Or if you're new here, just welcome in general. We're happy to have you. So, a number of months ago, you guys may remember, we started a series on filming locations in Knight Rider. Going through each episode, showing you what they look like back when Knight Rider was filmed in the 80s versus now. What locations are still there, what locations sadly have been lost to time. Now, we made it through the first few filming location episodes and everything was going great and I started to prep not a drop to drink which is our next episode and that's where things kind of fell apart not because of any real reason other than this particular episode most of the locations have kind of stumped me I mean, I know generally where a lot of stuff from this episode was filmed, but specifics seem to be really, really hard to find. So I sat on it and I sat on it and I thought, well, can I even really make an episode if I'm not providing you much information about the filming locations? And then I decided, well, I'm not just going to skip an episode whenever, you know, it's, it's not as uh, complete as I would like. So we're going to go through Not A Drop To Drink, and you're going to see that there's a lot of locations that I'm going to kind of be able to help you with, but not specifically. So really, this is going to be your episode. You guys out there, and you've done it before in the past, have shown that you can find these locations, um, and it's been absolutely amazing. So we're going to go through Not A Drop To Drink, Bear with me. Hopefully between me and all of you guys out there, we can figure out some of these locations. And then, you know, hopefully I'll get the momentum going. The next episode after this is no big thing. Lots of good episode or lots of good filming locations uh, in that episode. So maybe we just need to get past an auto drop to drink. So let's go ahead. Let's give it a try. All right, so we are going to begin at the beginning. We are at the, the dam here uh, in the episode. Um, the the uh, dam gets blown up and, uh, you know, they lose the water and that kind of starts the whole episode. So um, in reality, and here's another scene from later in that episode at the same location, you can see they kind of built up this, this dam here and then the center part is where it, it got blown up. So you can see the water rushing through. But in reality, this location, this is one of the few locations from this episode we do know where it was at. This is Falls Lake on the back lot of Universal Studios. So I went over and I did a little bit of research. And if you go to the studiotour.com, you can actually read a little bit about Falls Lake here. But here's a decent picture from, I think from the 80s, where you can really see... Um, see the area right here's here's uh so if we go back here these falls back here are these falls right here and then they constructed the dam you know along this area right here and while i don't know a hundred percent for sure is it possible that this scene is further down from falls lake maybe maybe not um i don't know how big that falls lake area was um, I don't even know if it really talks about it in here in this article. Um, yeah, there's actually, so you can see that Falls Lake area is actually fairly big or was fairly big. So it's possible that this here that we see later in the episode where um, Fran is riding her horse through the water, it's possible this is kind of downstream a little bit from that waterfall but not 100% sure. If you guys know for sure, let me know. But um, Falls Lake is confirmed our first location. And by the way, we see Falls Lake again at the beginning of the third season episode, Night and Nerd, when Michael is, um, is chasing, what is it, the Takeshi bad guy. And in fact, you can see here that the title screen of Night and Nerd is that same rock formation. So um, definitely a reused location, which makes sense because it was on the Universal Backlot. 
All right, so here is our first unknown scene uh, from the episode. Now, what you're looking at here, I believe, is actually stock footage. I don't think this was actually filmed for Knight Rider. This is supposed to be the establishing shot of Francesca Morgan's ranch, right? And we see a house down here with a white fence. But the problem is, when we see a close-up of her house in a minute, right here, you can see the house is actually white with a, uh, what is that, a clay roof. Um, but back here, this is a red house. So I think this was just kind of an establishing shot in Universal, or a stock shot from um, Universal Studios Library. But um, if any of you guys know where this is, you let me know. It would be kind of cool to uh, figure that out. But talking about the actual location film for Francesca Morgan's house is um, this is another one we don't really know where this is at. I mean, we've got a circular driveway, we've got a fountain here, and what looks like a gate. There it is from kind of another angle um, where you can kind of see the house a little bit. And uh, then here you can see a barn with looks like uh, green wooden shingles. So don't really know where this location is. Probably, um, I'm guessing, in the Santa Clarita or the Lake Sherwood area. Don't know if it's still there, obviously, but um, my guess is it was probably in that location. I'll explain why right now. All right, so now we move forward to Herb Bremen's ranch. And this is the establishing shot we see of Herb Bremen's ranch. And this is more than just stock footage. They actually use this location in the episode. We see later on when Kit crashes through the... Um, actually, I believe he crashes through this area here. And you can see in the, in the establishing shot, there's nothing here, right? It's, it's a, um, you know, a drive-through kind of area. But if we look at... Let me find the picture here. Yeah. So if you look here... So what we're looking at here, this is that, I think this is that area. Yeah, it is. So you see how this is all open here. Well, later in the episode, they built this fake um, wall, these fake walls here for Kit to, to crash through, right? So this was actually filmed at this property. The question is, where is this house? Now, um, I don't think this house is still standing today. I could be wrong, but I don't think it is. Back in the 80s, about the same time, actually the exact same time that they were using it in this episode, they were also using it in the old TV show Matt Houston. This was Matt Houston's house. And I started going down a rabbit hole trying to figure out where this is, and I ran across this teletalk.net, and they talk quite a bit about filming locations, and where they're talking about here is the Matt Houston house. And someone um, threw a bunch of clues and um, they were able to see the house. I think it, it was also in Dallas for a couple episodes. So they were able to kind of put a bunch of clues together and determine that the house was right about here in right near Lake Sherwood. Um, so if we go over to an aerial map, this whole area has been completely redeveloped. But according to them, that house was roughly right about here. Um, now in the screenshot, it does, you don't appear to see any type of lake nearby, but I also think that some of this lake was maybe redirected or expanded. So what we're doing, we're in Google earth here and let's go back in time. I don't know if it's going to, what it's going to look like back in time. Let's go back to 1993. So 1993, we still don't see, um, the house there. Um, I'm sorry, 1989 is where we're at. And then if we go back further, it's just a blur. But um, over here, this this person went to this historicaerials.com, and you can see how completely different this area was. This was from 1980. And if they zoom in, you can see the house right here. It's super blurry, but they are saying that they found the house and the house is actually right here, or was right here in the Lake Sherwood area. So whether that is true or false, we don't have definitive answer on, so maybe you guys know, but um, this would be kind of cool to find. And I think, um, you know, they actually filmed here for this episode, but in Just My Bill, they show this same screenshot as an establishing shot, but then they don't film 
at that at that location in just my bill. So my guess is they they filmed in um, they filmed the the house in not a drop to drink. They needed some establishing shot for just my bill, and then they just used that um, th this shot in just my bill. Got it. Good. And just to give you guys a little bit more of a clue in case you wanted to um, do some research, this appears to be the backside of that house with a swimming pool. And I think this is, this is the driveway coming up to the house. So you can see the mountains in the background, which might provide some kind of a clue if we're in the right location or not. Another image of the house there. And so you can see there's this house here, but then there was like another, maybe a guest house or stables or something down below here as well. All right, and then we've got kind of this uh, stock driving scene. I don't think this was filmed for this episode. It was probably part of just some of the stock footage that they that the um, show would go out and film kind of at the beginning of each season to be reused throughout the series. Um, don't exactly know what road this is. Uh, maybe you guys do. Maybe it's out near Bob's Gap. I know they filmed a bunch there during the pilot presentation. Um, but see if you guys can figure out where this curved road is. And continuing on to our unknown locations, um, we've got this scene. This is the bulldozer scene, right? Where Kit ski modes and does the bulldozer. So um, when we initially see Kit coming around the corner, there's not much of a clue here other than this uh, little bit of a house. Um, probably not the same house that Fran Morgan's house that, that we showed earlier as the location for Fran Morgan's. Um, the only reason I say that is because her house was white with that same roof, but I don't, I don't know if it's the same house or not. It's too hard to tell, but then we move forward. And, um, the biggest clue on this road is probably this, um, concrete block wall. Um, and actually, so this is you can tell this is the same location there's that white house but then look over here you also see um another another house here so i don't think that's fran's house that doesn't look right now um but this this block wall is um definitely a giveaway so let's see here yeah unfortunately with these trees there's not too much um that we can see telephone pole otherwise it's all pretty obscured so um let's see if we can find this one this would be cool to find all right we have a little bit more on fran's house um this is the shot you can kind of you can see the entrance of the driveway so you can see it's got these pillars with a wrought iron gates um there's the fountain and then he pulls in and that's kind of that's what the uh the house looks like um, and then this is the best view we get of the barn, which um, is on that same property. I think it's, you know what? Mm, see the, um, oh, these have a name. What are they? The, the object in the center of the uh, roof. That's not, that's not that, is it? Hang on a second. Are we on to something here? I think it might be. Doesn't this look like so you've got you've got this in the center, you've got the the uh the clay roof, and doesn't that look like the green wooden siding of this right here? I think this I think this is the same location. So if we find Fran's house, we find this road. This is just right around. That's very interesting because in the episode, Michael hasn't arrived yet at Fran's house and he's driving the opposite direction. But in reality, that's her house right there, I think. Or that's the house and that's the barn. But regardless, this is all the same location. So um, we now, now we really need to find this because we find one, we find them both. That's really cool. All right, and uh, later on we go back to her Bremen's house, and we're still in the backside by the pool. Again, there's a little bit better of a view. Really big uh, roof there. Um, I'd hate to have to reshingle that. Anyways, um, so maybe that'll give you another clue. 
All right, so then we come to these scenes um, kind of out in the middle of nowhere, d dirt roads where uh, Kit is pretending to be the alien, right? And we see all these big trees. Um, I feel like this is out in that same Lake Sherwood area or what's it called? Stevenson Ranch. Is that what it was called? Um, I wonder if this is the same location where they filmed a lot of the Dukes of Hazard too. Um, because you always see the Dukes kind of out in the in dirt roads with trees and this just feels like um a dukes of hazard scene in fact it's probably not but you know the end credits of the dukes of hazard when you see um the general lee being chased by roscoe and they keep driving around that same tree it always feels like that's the tree it's probably not but that's kind of why i'm getting the dukes vibes so probably lake sherwood stevenson ranch somewhere out in that area but you guys can let me know for sure of course, maybe I take that back because now we come to this angle where we see the inside of Kit and we see the, the broken down truck there. But look in the far distance right here. Boy, doesn't that look like um, Herb Bremen's house right here? Now I'm wondering if this is, maybe they only filmed this episode in like two locations or three locations because this almost looks like... Um, that same place and it would make sense right i mean if they're filming at these locations and they can are able to take care of other scenes in the episode in that same location that saves them time and money i mean it just makes sense so maybe if we find her bremen's house we find this road too all right so now we have the pipeline um another one don't know where this is looks definitely out in the middle of nowhere here but maybe these hills and this uh electrical tower right here we'll be able to we'll be able to glean some information from this um i'd imagine these hills probably haven't changed in 40 years of course you never know and then from the other angle you can see how the road kind of goes up and curves around um this might be out in um on like near potrero road or where they filmed a lot of the um in pico canyon area maybe i don't know but um Maybe we'll be able to figure it out just by looking at some of these scenes here. Alrighty, and uh, just another scene kind of downriver where Michael and Fran are talking. I just don't know. This I don't think this is um, Universal Studios. Just look at those rock formations. This 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 has to have been filmed somewhere else, somewhere in a a shallow river, probably near that area, or maybe this is along Lake Sherwood. I don't really know. I'm not familiar with that area, but um, you guys let me know. All right, once again, her back to Herb Bremen's place, but this kind of maybe gives us another clue. This is a dirt road leading up to that house. So you can see the mountain formation in the background. And then we see from this angle, you can see the house. You can see the mountains in the background a little bit more, another little building over on this side. And then as Kit comes through and gets ready to crash into the side of the house there's more of those mountain ranges crashes through and um then we see kit do a 180 and take off the other direction that's probably our best view of those mountain ranges so um so actually take a look at this um i what i did is that that supposed location of the house i zoomed in on google earth until it uh came down to ground level and take a look at this. Let's see if we can kind of squeeze these two shots together. Because maybe we just solved this. Let's see here. So if we look at this right here, look at this. So we've got this front mountain here, and then behind it, there's another range. And if you look here, see how this goes up? And then up and up, like that. Look, duh, up and up. And then it goes flat, and then there's a little dip and back up again flat little dip back up again and then to the left we see this range it comes up a couple bumps comes up a couple bumps fairly flat and then a big mountain with a little dip and then a little bump at the top right here i think we found this so this geez i think this confirms what um, we were talking about this area that house, this is Lake Sherwood right here. That house was right here and it is, it's all gone. So if we exit ground level, 
yeah, we were right here. So, and it uh, looks like there's a bunch of mansions in that area now. Unfortunately, that area has all been redeveloped. But to me, I think that's the silver bullet. I think we found this location. Lake Sherwood area, um, GPS coordinates. You can, let's see here. 34 degrees, 8. Yeah, if you put in... Um, here, for those of you interested, I'll write the, so it's like 34 degrees, 8, 12.31 by 118 degrees, 52, 40.37. This is west, this is north. So if you guys want to look it up, there's the approximate GPS coordinates of um, this location. But um, interesting. I think we just, uh, we just checked that one off the list. All right. And really the final location here, there's some more um, stock driving scenes. But this scene near the end where uh, Michael and Fran and um, they all get out of kit and, uh, you know, they, they see this cliff. Um, again, probably all in that same Lake Sherwood area. Probably not there anymore. But um this is about the best shot we get of that area. So if you know where it is, hey, let us know. All right, so really, there you go. There's not a drop to drink. Um, now I'm wishing I hadn't waited so long to go th through this because as I was going through it, we were kind of making discoveries, right? And um, it's kind of neat to maybe uh, finally say where her Bremen's house was. We still have to find Fran's house. I really want to find Fran's house because I would love to find that location where the, the bulldozers converged on Kit. So um, why don't uh, we harness the power of all you great folks out there and see if you can locate um, Fran's house and really any of the other kind of missing locations from this episode. All right, I feel better about this. I think we're going to continue on with our filming location series. Next up is not, uh, excuse me, no big thing. Um, and like I said, that one, we know we know some of the filming locations. That should be a fun one to cover. Uh, there's still a few in there I believe we don't know, though. So we will absolutely need your help. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you did, share it with a friend. They might enjoy it, too. Thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon. It's me, Kit. When I'm not out fighting crime, I like to follow my friends at nightriderhistorians.com. Check it out. <laughs>